welcome to our show, Geeks Wire Podcast. We talk about video games, movies, TV, comic books, technology, and TLDR, the Internet of Things. I am your host, Bill, and this week we have Ted. Hi! And Anna. That's me. And Anthony. That is also me. I'm not Anna, I'm Anthony. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. And uh, Bill, you already introduced yourself, but we also have Bill. Yeah. Cool. Can I start with me? Yes, you did. I'm the most important person. No. That's why when you start sentences, you say I and other people, or not me always. and other people. Then you're yeah, technically not supposed start. to do. And I. Do you go Bill by and I. Bill I am? No, oh, I and Ted. Me and Ted. Yeah, me All and right, Ted. All right, uh, and we we talk about video games, movies, TV, comic books, technology, and TLDR, the internet. Oh, you're really into repeating things today, aren't you? We didn't talk about that already. Yeah, I did. We already said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I. It's been a rough... Rough week for Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so what didn't we talk about then, Bill? The Patreon. The Patreon. Oh yeah, Patreon. If you uh, we have a Patreon on Patreon called or well, you can just go to it by uh, Patreon dot com slash Geeks Are Wired. Yes. Yes. And if you support us, you can get access to the Discords no, and no. also have access to the show early. Mm-hmm. If you so desire. Oh, we can say Dave is great. Yep. Or I was your name that. here is great. Or greater. Greater, yeah, if you got greater. Or greatest. Great. I was thinking that if we ever get people on the other levels, we may only say the highest level. <gasps> oh, then it's a competition. Yes. Or could contest it to us. They could send us an email at geeksrewired at gmail.com. Or leave a text me- or a voice message. Or at, text uh, message. Yeah, you could text too, I guess. Um, I guess all the kids these days prefer to text rather than call, but uh, the number is 801-896-4335. The last four letters spell out geek, so yeah, you know that makes it easier to remember because the first, you know, six numbers don't really spell out anything significant as far as I'm aware. Okay, how about this? You we can do a Base review of Endgame. Spoiler free. Spoiler free. Even though it sold more tickets than anything else. So we were talking about spoilers and spoiler free. And um, a person in the room that we were speaking with has just started reading through Harry Potter. Never seen the movies or anything like that. And we're talking about not spoiling Endgame. And then Joey speaks up and he's like, he's like, Dumbledore dies. Well, yeah, he was just <laughs> saying as you exit the theater, just tell the next people going yeah. in that Dumb- Dumbledore dies. Dumbledore dies, <laughs> and like the guy that's reading through it is like, "Wait, really?" And we're like, "Well, oh, I don't no, know. No. I was just making stuff up." <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore not dies in the end. Uh, <sighs> uh, so yeah, does he listen to us? He might. Uh, oh, he's uh, well, gonna hear it again. It's yeah, like he already heard it. So well, that it just confirms it though. I no, does it? He did say he was just kidding. Yeah, you just confirmed it. Way to go. No, I didn't. I'm also just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're listening to this, good luck. Well, so, yeah. Aven- right off at of the beginning, too. Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's been out for like two weeks at this point. No. About it's only last weekend. A week. This comes like up, two this, weeks. No, no actually, like two weeks. This is no. the this comes up the Friday after it came out, so it's yeah. literally been out for one week. Yes, that's like two weeks. <laughs> eh, no, you're you're missing about seven days. It's been at least a week since it came out. There you go, and you have no excuse for having not seen it. If Unless you need you're money busy. to see it, they put up a sign that says "Need money to go see Endgame," and I'm sure someone will give you. If I saw someone on the side of the road that said, need money to go watch the new Avengers movie, I'd give them money. I guess it opened Wednesday night. What's that say about me? It was a long movie. Three hours start to finish. And two no minutes. Reason and two minutes. I don't care about the two minutes. No <laughs> reason to wait for the end, though. Waited all the way through the credits. Nothing happened. There was something. I think I think Bill <laughs> would disagree. And a, I know. a red screen that said Marvel? No. There's a websites. Noise. <laughs> what was the noise? Well, that's the after credits spoiler. 
Anna was that we'll talk about next week. Anna was saying websites. Yeah, websites will say, some of them will say yes, and some of them will say no, it there's just depends not on anything at the end. Is. Okay, there might have been something rather subtle, but there was no, no real thing afterwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, like I said, it's subtle. It's, uh, that's... Does it count? Do you I think it should I count? I don't even think that's a spoiler. That... That was Iron Man building his first suit. It's no. That's what it was. It was yes, a, that the, was him hammering out his first suit. The the the, the conversation was uh, it was uh, Thor and uh, Captain America colliding, the hammer and the shield. Oh, no, I, no, it was it was it was the Iron Man suit. It was him building the the Mark One Iron Man suit in the cave in Afghanistan or wherever that was. Was it in Afghanistan? I don't even know. I assumed Afghanistan. It was, I, I think it was remember. some Middle Earth. Month. Middle Earth country. <laughs> yep, Middle Earth. <laughs> Somewhere in Middle Earth. That would explain all the hobbits. Yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Explains why the Iron Man suit was so much bigger than everybody. Did, so Ted and I went to it like... Thursday. The Thursday night. Yeah, the showing. Thursday night, the initial opening night. You said it was open on Wednesday. In some yeah, places. there was something. There was some. In some places. And they, like, at the very end, they were like, there's not anything at the end. They uh, were trying to clear out everything to clean up. Did you guys experience that? No, we... We left. We left. Well, honestly, I started looking at my watch after two hours. <laughs> I was like, wow, this movie is long. You know what? I was so hooked that I did not look at my watch, like, once. Like, I think they did a really good job of, like, keeping the action and the intrigue steady without like overdoing it right so i i didn't really have a spot where i was just like when is this gonna end that i sometimes in some movies i'll, I'll mm-hmm. have that that thing but i didn't this this movie like start to finish they had me from the very first scene all the way to the end i thought they were actually like when it, when it got about halfway through it almost seemed like they were about ready to wrap up and i was like what else they got here yeah. so they, they did some interesting. Although, I think I can say this without a uh, spoiler, and Bill can decide to cut it out later if he decides. Um, Put a giant beep in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> <This is> just... <laughs> yeah. But um, I. You could just put a finger snap. You've seen uh, Doctor Strange in the past, like cut people's limbs off, and it really seems like there's no reason that Doctor Strange just couldn't defeat any enemy. By or pointing a portal and then closing it real quick. Have like you ever seen any enemy? Uh, how it should have ended? No, but they literally do that. Yeah, they just, <laughs> just cut off his arms and legs, and everybody's happy. So there was a lot of good catharsis, and I really, really enjoyed the way they treated uh, Thor's character. Like out yes. of everything, Thor's character was the absolute best. He stole the movie again. <laughs> <laughs> he always whatever he's in he steals I mean, mm-hmm. like he was one of my favorite characters in ghostbusters like i love that levity that he brought to ghostbusters you get the little one and yeah i like that <laughs> yeah, you get the little one that's good but yeah so it was it was great um i think i can say without spoiling again um that they're I was afraid that their use of Captain Marvel was going to be really heavy-handed, but I was actually kind of I I liked the way that she she I, was put in there and and you're definitely pushing the edge, but yeah, so well, let's I go mean, with that. <laughs> these things are all yeah. known that they're these people yeah are exist. Like, I, I yeah, I think it's a, it's a known thing, but um, so uh, yeah, I, I felt she was underutilized personally, but well, she, like we're we're starting to hit the edge. I know, anyway, so it's a B. Anyway, especially starting the podcast with this, the the way that the way that it, it uh, the way that it's I'll find more material that it went through, <laughs> I really enjoyed that, and it really makes me want to go through and watch the different um, Marvel movies that I've missed in the past. I've seen them all. I want to look at parts of them because I think like it might make more sense. Some things make more sense. Well, stuff. there's stuff like that, but no, I think they prepped up a bunch of stuff. Well, like there's events that happen, it, I think in some of the other movies that you just like, yeah, whatever, and just like went on with the movie that they utilized in this movie. Right, they there were is a big one of that. Tells 
So I'm pretty sure that's correct. I got to check that. There, now. there was some of the some of the movies like I didn't really ever watch much of the Ant Man. I think there was at least two Ant Man movies. There right? was an Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, and so I watched Ant Man and the Wasp. Wasp because it was on Netflix, but I never watched Ant Man because it just I don't know. It irritated me that when it, the, from the little things that I saw that was like, yeah, he's the same mass, but he's just tiny. But then, like, he would run on someone's gun, or like he would, you know, punch mm. someone, and it just wouldn't immediately go right through him because he's the size of an ant. And the, if he's the same mass, if he hits someone, he would literally go through their skin, like completely yeah. through. It's like a bullet. Cause and the, standing on somebody's gun should actually right. weigh it down. Yeah, their gun. They, and to be like two hundred pounds, one hundred and fifty pounds. Suddenly, like, like uh, on the light end. Suit, yeah. yeah. Him and his suit and everything like that, you know, it's like all of a sudden there's 200 pounds. But you your probably gun. actually bend the gun too. It, it having might, all that force. Yeah, in that little, in that little, in spot, little yeah. place. Yeah, like, yeah. So it was really irritating that they were like, "We're gonna, we're gonna play really, really fast and loose with the physics on this one." Like, I'm okay with him like shrinking down and like his lungs not immediately collapsing or failing <laughs> yeah. to work because you know whatever, but. Um, or like, you know, when you go down to the quantum level and suddenly you, you still have oxygen to breathe because you brought it with you, I guess, even though quantum level is small, whatever. But when, the, when the molecules come into a suit, they downsize. <laughs> you got oxygen tank. And, and whatever, <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. That's fine. Um, but so I, I think I want to go back and watch like Ant-Man. And then there was a bunch of the ones with. Like, I didn't watch any with um, Hawkeye, any of the movies that had to do with Hawkeye or... You didn't watch The Avengers? Or I Thor? Mean, I mean, like, did he have a standalone movie? No, he's never had no, a standalone movie. movie. So what about, the, what about the other ladies? Like, um, the... Uh, There's Captain only one woman that's had a standalone movie. Captain Marvel? Yeah. Huh. Cause, and like, I, I, I say go watch it. It's good. <laughs> if you haven't watched it yet, go watch Avengers. Yes. Like, you don't need to have watched... Captain Marvel to have watched. Fun fact, uh, from this movie. W- what I heard on read on the internet interwebs is that uh, Avengers was filmed first before I, Captain Marvel was. I could vaguely see that, and I think like she's talked about like they just kicked a bunch of makeup on her on the in this movie mm-hmm. in the Avengers one because I think she wasn't they weren't sure how much she needed or whatever. Then in the second one, like in her actual movie, she was able to be more free willed. Do you think yeah. that's why it was the the short hair versus the long hair? Because they made a joke about you cut your hair. Yeah. But maybe she had really short hair, and then they're like, you know what? We kind of like the long hair because she was long haired in the in the other one, in in her movie. It might yeah. be, or they shot that all that stuff after everything else. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, that's hard to say. But I, I imagine there was a fair a, a little bit of of like going back and tweaking. Let's make let's mm-hmm. make sure we don't miss this stuff here mm-hmm. it's i'm I'm kind of torn as far as like watching a movie as soon as it comes out versus like waiting because i don't like to spoil it for others but i like to talk about it when mm-hmm. i first first watch it and so it's been really hard like not spoiling it to bill or or uh, what do you mean you, you haven't seen me that was, that was the best oh, part no, i was gonna start i was gonna start texting you and stuff. oh i i could have spoiled it for bill earlier <laughs> honestly you wouldn't have spoiled anything that I wasn't expecting. Like, absolutely nothing I wasn't expecting. Every bit I really expected. But I also know a lot of the background behind right. the actors and actresses and the story behind it and all that. So I'm like, eh. So, but, I was, excuse me, that was, it was, it was great fun and I, I I don't know. Like I said, though, I, I on the other hand, like now when I run across to like on Stack Overflow questions about about it, I can go and like read them and not have to worry about yeah. about them all. Uh, versus like every Sunday when a new Game of Thrones comes out and I keep forgetting to like do something about that. Um, yeah, I know. It, <laughs> to be fair, last time was on Easter and I had a bunch of stuff going on, um, but. And you never officially invited me and told me what time it was. I, I did invite. I just didn't say the time. Yeah. And then I didn't hear anything. So I, I was feel like, like the time is the official invitation. Oh, okay. Anyways, we'll anyways, talk about that afterwards. It does. It doesn't matter that much because I I think we might at this point we missed two episodes. We might just wait 
because there's only what five episodes of Game of Thrones this this season. I don't there's think there's a lot. Six. Yeah, so we there's just six, might, and I think a special. We might just wait until we're kind of close, and then we only have to pay for like a month of HBO. Thanks. If you've never had, you just no, get we the have, free. I or you have, have okay? It, yeah. Sign, sign up, up under with another email. new might, email. Get the free week. Might be able to sign in up for it, but we were thinking about getting it on like the last one or two episodes, or yeah, when they're about to launch, and then and then getting it for like a month. Yeah, so that we can just catch it, binge it all, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. They they may get us hooked again. What are they doing a spinoff or something? Oh yeah, they're doing spinoffs. But no, like, but it's, it's not that. There's other shows that we they've done that we like. Oh, like Westworld and West. Uh, no, well, not even that really. Liars or? Well, you guys were watching. What, what is that like new show that you guys watch? Uh, something liars. No, that's Pretty not a little. Show. Oh, you're talking about uh, last week with yeah. Or, I forgot his name now. Last I really week tonight with uh, what's his name? Yep. Yes. But all that's on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, not, maybe. Well, the basically. John Oliver. Yeah. I I I know I found out I really like it. That's fun. Big, big little lies. Big little lies. The second season's coming out. First season was pretty good. Oh yeah. I just I haven't been watching a lot of shows and stuff. Um well, I've just had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life lately that's you know, obviously I haven't been on a podcast that much. <sighs> And uh, whatnot, so like work has been a little more demanding than normal, and um, we've started a nonprofit, which I plan on dropping information on the podcast later after I discuss it oh. with Bill and everything <laughs> like that. And um, it's a secret, right yeah. Now. <laughs> it's not a super secret, but I, I don't think I'm ready to talk about it in greater detail yet because oh. not everything's ready for it. So, um, and. Yeah, just lots of stuff going on. So, haven't been able to watch a lot of stuff, unfortunately. I have started rewatching um, Full Metal Alchemist, though, because Anna told me that she had watched up to the point where they kind of diverged. So, we're watching Brotherhood together, kind of, like with the sides of our heads. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched the Brotherhood side of it. But I have watched the other Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, just Full Metal Alchemist or whatever. I don't even know what it's called. The original series, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so ignore the the name of the title on that one. It didn't pull it in, and I didn't feel like typing the whole thing. <laughs> it's just kind of I don't I don't I don't know much about this article because I just barely saw <laughs> it. It's just I thought it might be a fun little like. It's an interesting point. idea. Well, it's funny because. Like, you don't have as much of a problem as we do. I don't, but it really kind of bugs me that people will just come up. And it's not their fault. They can't see them. But they'll come up behind me, start talking, or just kind of sit there and assuming I see them or hear them when I have my AirPods in. So you should really explain what it is. Because you just started talking because you saw the article. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so (laughs) the name of this article is Workers Love AirPods Because Employers Stole Their Walls. But now you can... So... With open office plans being ubiquitous, um, it's it's harder, getting harder and harder to like mm-hmm. m- make like getting into the zone, like actually yeah. just doing the work of your work. Like, and open, I, I like, I'm gonna get sidetracked on the open office plan. I think it's good for small teams. Yeah, it's yeah, we also had good for collaboration, which is the idea well, behind it. Well, that's initially, the thing. it but is collaboration. But when you get thirty people in a room, it but, does not work. But out. collaboration yeah. isn't always needed when collabor- when right. you need to you have. A group of people just spend time on the work. Mm-hmm. So if we did, if we did a team, a team of like five to ten people in a room, without with a, without open without walls, with just an open office layout, right? So mini, so open right. mini teams, right? Yeah. That I think is optimal. But if you get to a point where you've got twenty to thirty people in a room, um, it's too much. You know, you're you're spreading sickness like wildfire. Yeah. Um, sickness just goes through there like crazy uh you get points of the day where it's so loud you literally headphones do not work even if they're noise canceling you're still going to have a bit of an issue with it uh if you're easily distracted um you know you got all this movement going on and then like anthony was alluding to people 
come up to you regardless of what you do to Mm -hmm. get them to leave you the heck alone because you're trying to get some actual work done they still Mm -hmm. come up to you and just tap you on the shoulder and and whatever so no what i was alluding to was i had the airpods in and i don't they can't see see it i I never see it when you're they can't see it and so they think that That i can hear them (laughs) you can hear what's being said yeah sorry (laughs) (laughs) i've done it a few times yeah, actually, You're not the only me. one. A lot of I, people mine don't. Ha- I, mine don't even have the little ear. My the, my true wireless. Headphones. Brett at this Very point different. taps me on the shoulder, like lightly. Yeah, because he knows that I have them in. See, that's why I would uh, just play Nerf guns. No, last time I got shot with a Nerf gun, they hit me in the face. That's oh. why when you're facing away, it's, you shoot. It's soft. Not it's that one. Nerf. Not that one. <laughs> this was a cheap like. That's what you get. Off from. brand. Nerf gun. Ask, ask Chris about it next time you see him. <laughs> ask him about the time he shot me in the face. Did it? <laughs> did it bruise you? It left a mark. For how long? I mean, it wasn't that bad, but okay. it Five hurt. Minutes. It hurt. <laughs> Is it more like a missile or like a disc type? It was a mi- it was a missile, but his it, it was just that kind like you know the old ones where you like the pump action ones where you could just like keep going on it yeah. and it'll just keep building and building. It was like that, but he didn't have to do that. Because it just was like that. Gotcha. So, and he didn't hit me to hit in the face. Did he unload that in your face? No, he just like shot it once and then it just hit me square in the face and then he didn't realize it was going to be that bad. Uh, that's fine. I just throw things at Joey sometimes. Yeah, like, oh, I don't get into it. What was it, pens? No. No, what was he it? He threw an old pill bottle at him. Oh, yeah, well, two pill bottles. I'm starving. Probably starving down to me. Oh, God, starving God. Marvin. My grandpa used to do that to me all the time, and I hated him for it. I'm starving. I'm, starving. I'm I, Bill. I don't hate him for it. I just oh, hated him at the time. Hated that joke. Yeah, that joke gets old. I laugh and every then, time my he, dad said it. He's an old man. I don't. Fair. I feel like. No, you might actually be telling the truth. Yeah. Okay. Ted's an old man. Because I love my dad. It was funny the first hundred times he said it. One I, time my dad picked up the phone. Yeah, and it was like one of those calls where they just hang up right away. Yeah, and he's like, "You don't say, you don't say, you don't say," and he like did variations on "you don't say" for like five minutes. I swear, and I'm like, "Who is he talking to?" So he hangs up the phone, and I'm like, "Who was that?" And he's like, "Oh, they didn't say." Like he <laughs> totally set me up for that, and I just fell right into it. <laughs> so Bill's yeah. laughing in the background. If anybody can't hear that, my dad. Old, I mean, dad joke central with him, so. I see where you get from now. Yep. <laughs> Super cool. So what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about this fancy game this guy released just to get people to buy it so they can do fancy things. Yeah. All right. So this dude, uh, I just ran across this the other day on um, on Reddit. Um, and basically, he uh, released a game on uh, the Switch. It's called A Dark Room. And in the game, he added a Ruby interpreter and a code editor. As the, He's saying it's an Easter egg, but um, really all you have to do is just connect a USB keyboard to your thing and then hit the tilde key. And it will it will take you in and allow you to oh. like to, to um, basically program in Ruby in, within that game. So um, so your Switch can be a Ruby machine at that point. Well, I was going to look it up on the actual store, but I have to update say. my system. What is... But it, it's not it's not a free game, so you got to pay for it. I think it might be like one of those, almost a gimmick, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. I was just going to look at it on it's the store. It's an oh. online text-based role-playing game. So. When it was originally released. Oh, you just broke your switch. I didn't break it. Oh. It's designed to do that. Just snapped off the back That's also leg where they have the SD card at. Oh. What do you mean, ah? Uh, uh, it's designed to do that. I don't think it is. No, it really is. I don't so, believe you. Anyways, if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna build your own implementation of Dijkstra's algorithm and run it on your switch, you can now do so. It has great graphics. Yeah. It, it looks like it's $7. Yep. Or 
pounds or uh, euros. Six ninety nine or six point nine euros. euros. Which is weird because uh, I know. One of those is worth more than the other depending on when you look at it. Yeah, no, the well, euro's always worth more than the like dollar. The I've other. never seen the euro down below the dollar. Oh. I was being hopeful. And the the same thing with the pound. The pounds pounds and euros are typically worth more than the dollar, but I think Depending on how Brexit goes, the pound might end up being <laughs> less. You mean if it ever goes? It's got to extend to six more months. Yeah, that's true. Till October 31st. So, Dark Room is, uh, is bringing back the the awesomeness of Zork. Zork? Zork. What is yeah. Zork? It's, it's text-based. Like one of the first text-based oh, okay. games on a computer. Oh, good. I, I remember my password, guys. <laughs> but is it charged? What? Your Switch. Yeah. Okay. I haven't touched it since we played it last time. Oh. So what is so it's called a dark room? A dark a room. Space. Dark room. One word? No. Nope. Two words. Three words total. Oh, three words total. A space yeah. dark space room. Well sometimes dark room is one word, so yeah. But it launched on April twelfth. Yeah, so and the, the Easter day. eggs were released. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm not sure if it qualifies for an Easter egg. I it's am not seeing it in here. Are you sure? That's what this says. It should be on the East shop on April 12th. Maybe they pulled it because they found out. They, they might have. It's against the regula- or against the rules. That wouldn't really surprise me too terribly much. Let's try spelling dark room this time around. They're making it complicated. Nintendo developer agreement violation lawsuit in four, three, two. Oh. Hackers exploiting Switch through this game in two, one. You get a search for it on here. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was just looking at some of the comments on the um the thing here. Uh, Dark. Hey, Dark Souls. So you can break your Switch in half. Ooh. Because you're irritated, is that what you're saying? Is Dark Souls. Like Dark Souls. Irritating. New players can get very irritating because when you first go, like after you defeat the boss, which is the first boss, which is a whole thing, uh-huh. it dumps you into this uh, little area where you can either go up, you can go sh- around, or you can go down. A lot of people go down. That's the last part of the game. And you get attacked by ghosts, which you cannot hit unless you're cursed, or you have a cursed weapon. You have to read the item descriptions to know that. So you'll go up and start hitting them, not doing any damage, and then they kill you. And then you quit after like two hours. Because you can't even touch them. I don't know who has this experience. It's not me. (laughs) No, my friend noticed I was doing it, and then told me like after an hour of watching me fail repeatedly he's like you you might want to go up <laughs> just just a thought because he's played it before uh, that's fun so yeah it's a neat little thing and you know it may or may not be on the switch as of now it claims that it is but you well, this know. is nintendo uk you want to know my favorite noises out of the switch go i can't figure out what it's gonna say oh it's so that quiet was, that was really good Oh, I only did half of it this time. Barely. Cutting out. You need more? Real quick. It's I I just really love it. Probably would have been easier to plug that thing into the sound. I mean, board. I I feel like I'm I'm really loud. You should still I'm you just need to turn me down. There's a ongoing. Con- I started talking less because I was being louder. There's a there's an ongoing discussion. Oh, thank you. Around work, um, discussing whether or not Anna Anthony is actually a a Japanese teenage girl. No, oh, this again. <laughs> um, we well, he he, he doesn't like cereal and soup. That's the first time I've ever. I like cereal. This. I don't like soup. Oh, Joey and I have talked about it a bit, and you know we spread it around the ballroom. So really, <laughs> just like cute. Why things. would you do? It's it's not a bad thing. You just really like cute things, and that's okay. 
<laughs> All right, speaking of cute things. <laughs> I have a video that I always go to that I forget. I have I is have it, a is it st- uh, stone out cerebral. I think so. Okay. Uh, you tell me. I have a Pandora playlist called Super Cute Japanese Music mm-hmm. that Anthony like grabs and was listening to a lot. So I mean it's not like I'm not also like cute kawaii. Yeah, that's what I was like. Uh, there's a word for that. Um so it's not like Kawaii. Okay. Uh, kawaii. Kawaii. Okay. Ask Anna. She's she's yeah, minor in Japanese. It is kawaii. Okay. I, I learned it from uh uh the toys it's that just made this you. video. Nah. It's Why? it's that's that's all it is. It's, it's a puppy and a kitten. It was in Las Vegas, right? You were in yeah. Vegas, you walked past this thing and there was those little robotic puppies like talking. Well, it's it's not just and a puppy, talk, it's also they, a like, kitty. Squeak. So my our daughter, um, when we were in Taiwan the last time, she got uh there was this lady selling like cheap crap on the side of the street and there was a little panda bear that like walked and made music and stuff mm-hmm. and and my daughter had to have it. So we got it for her. And then, like, once we got it outside of the loud area that we were in and, like, listened to it, it's, mm-hmm. it was, like, super creepy. Like, oh, was the it? sound was just really yeah. creepy. Yeah, and then it started becoming, like, distorted after, like, the batteries were starting oh, to roll man. Out. Are, and yes. then, <laughs> And then it got really scary and then chirpy, and it was just, And then, yeah. like, one of the wires broke off of it, like, really quick, so I, like, skinned it. Um, oh, I like took all the fur off of it so that I could get to the part where the wire was bad and like fix it for her, mm-hmm. and um, that kind of creeped her out from it too because it had its eye like its eyes. So is it like without the, the Furby? Like for when Furbies are uh, I don't think dissected. I've seen a Furby without look the, it up, Bill. Without the skin, just type in the words "skinned Furby" and then type in F S W. <laughs> no. no. Looks fine to me. Hit images instead of images. Yeah. I mean, so l- just click on that first one. That's not bad. That's a pretty tame one. That one's skin colored underneath. That's kind of weird. It's all pink. Like peach. Yeah. yeah I think interest, it depends on how new they are, too. Yeah, I'm not sure I like it. Yeah. They're so creepy. They really are. Even regular Furbies, some some of them are pretty scary as they are. Are you trying to see if you have a uh, Furby? Do you actually? I do. I keep wanting to call them Herbies for some reason. It's not a car. It's not a talking car. I don't have a real one. I have like a... A knockoff Furby? No, I have a McDonald's Furby. Oh. So, in other words, it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't do anything. It just looks creepy. Yeah. They actually, when they, they came out, when they were popular, they actually had to ban them in, like, government facilities where they dealt with they secrets. Were recording stuff. Because, yeah, it would just record random stuff and then say it back or mm-hmm. do whatever with it. And they were like, this this could be a way for information to leak in this really awkward manner. So, they banned them from the offices and whatnot, which I thought was pretty interesting and kind of funny. That's the end of that story. I'm I'm done saying anything about that. Well, how did we get onto this? You um, know, it's your it's your video, Anthony. It's my video. With the little robotic thing. Because you're a uh, kawaii. Because yeah. <laughs> you're a oh. So a, a long time ago, I put a bunch of photos on my iPhone, and I thought it deleted it all. Uh, no, the timestamps. It picked up the timestamps and put them way back where they originally came from. Well, that makes ago. sense. Did you it ever does, watch the toys that made us though? That's where I learned. No, I word. never did. I watched them, but it was really depressing because it turns out my youth was fabricated just to sell me s- stuff. Yep, and that was kind of depressing. Did I show you this? Oh, there's a new season getting ready. That's to a come big out. pizza that we got one time, and then uh, in the background is an apples to apples box, a full size apples to apples box game. That's a big pizza. Wow, that is huge. It's got like five little Barbie dolls on it. Barbie tables. Yeah, the the little the little tables. Yes. I call them Barbie tables. You put in the pizza so the box doesn't touch the top of the pizza. Now yeah. I want pizza. I really want pizza. Guys, 
if you want to give me some pizza, give us a call at um, 801-896-4335, and I'll give you our address to deliver pizza to my to me. Or you could support the Patreon, and then... No, he just wants pizza. <laughs> How does supporting the Patreon get me pizza? I could then be able to afford to buy it for you. But that's not what the Patreon... I thought it was supporting the podcast, not my fat belly. But if you show up for the podcast, that means that supporting the podcaster host people's... I see us. where you're going with it, and I like it. <laughs> so if you'd like to feed me pizza from time to time, feel free to go on patreon.com slash geeks are wired and sign up for the tier that says feed Ted pizza. <laughs> I have to make that's a tier going that says... to appear soon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll be the cheapest tier. Is it going to be three fifty? Three fifty. Three fifty. That's not the cheapest tier. No, it's not. But <laughs> it it can be. No, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> just make just make one. You just you need to have one called tree fitty. Tree fitty. With n- no, uh, well maybe some benefits. I don't know. It's, it's your show. You do feed whatever Ted. you want. I no, will... the f- the feed Ted one I think should be like two dollars. If there if Thanks. there if I come here every week and there's food here for me, then whoever is responsible for giving me that food will get a shout out on the podcast. And he'll explain how the pizza tastes without fail. And I will yeah I will describe what food I'm getting. With your tree fitty, well, or whatever the cost or, is, or yeah, whatever. But it may as well just be you, tree yeah, fitty at this point. Make sure that you say it's for Ted to have food. Tree fifty a month, fitty, fitty, tree fitty, tree fitty, a month for pizza to feed Ted. I'll only get think a pizza. about that. Oh, well, <laughs> if there's multiples, I'll get a pizza more frequently. But oh, yeah, sorry, otherwise, yeah. I'll only get a pizza once every couple, couple of months. months. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll share with you. Could go to and a, Anna and Joey. You could go to a pizza Phil. parlor and just get one piece. Like or you could go down to one Costco. Piece is a good you could go down to Costco <laughs> and get a whole meal for that much. That's true. I could. I could get a. You could get a, a big, Costco huge piece dog. of pizza. No, you can get a piece of pizza and a drink for about that much. I think a pizza, pizza. Yeah, pizza, pizza. 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 I don't think Costco has pizza, pizzas. They don't have pizza, pizzas, but they have pieces of pizzas. I, it reminds me of my echo. Don't hear me pronounce words. <laughs> Neither does mine. I told or mine to Googles. turn my lights on. It's like, oh, you wanted to turn them off? Okay. Oh, no. And then it doesn't do anything. I'm like, turn on the lights. And it's like, I don't know anything named lights. I'm like, really? That, happens, that hasn't happened to me yet. So. I turn on the Chromecast. I didn't, I couldn't find a Homecast. I'm like, really? <laughs> so, um, Neat. I found out that mm. my, my Google Home does, is, is bilingual. I might have said this before on the podcast. I don't know, but I don't think you have. But I yes, I'm pretty sure you I have. I tell it apaga la luz, and it's like I can't find any light named la luz to turn off. And I'm like, you got the rest of that, but you just didn't get the light part. <laughs> but I can say in English, turn off the light, and I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I should get some. Um, I'm getting. Uh, I don't want to replace a switch in my new bedroom because we move bedrooms in our house. But um, so I'm gonna get some. Some Z-Wave light bulbs. I yeah. just have to order them. And I, maybe I should call them L- Las Luces and see if it understands <laughs> it better in, They're my, a bad price. in my Google Home. Yeah, I just... It, the only thing that has barred me from getting them is, is um, Sloth. That And I've been really busy with other things. That getting on the Amazon. And and so they have some cheaper ones, I think, now that are multicolored. But if you want like nice multicolored ones, the Hue ones are pretty good. They're not... Terribly expensive. I think our main thing is brightness yeah. because right now the 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 light in that bedroom is um, the cover is really frosted mm-hmm. and so it's not very bright. So I might see how they do, and if they don't do great, I might get like one of those tall lamps and put it in the corner and just leave it on all the time. Yeah, and whatnot. But that's what I do. I have the main light, and then I have the lamp that has two on it. And usually what I'll do is when I want to read, I'll turn off the top one because it'll strain my eyes after a while. Or not turn it off, but turn it way down and then turn the other ones up. Yeah. I just got to be careful with a lamp because my cat likes to push stuff off of things. Just secure it to the wall. That's proof that the earth isn't flat, by the way. If the earth was flat, cats would have knocked everything off the side of it by now. No, there's water surrounding the, the, the land. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Cats hate water. Cats would have shoved everything off the side of the earth. 
including the water? Yeah. If there's water, it would just fall off. I mean, it wouldn't even make any sense, Anthony. No, it circulates. Think about these things. It circulates. It goes down, like, all the way down to the bottom, and then just goes across, and then comes back up a siphon. It's like Breath of the Wild under the maps. <laughs> have you fallen through the map? No, but there's a lot of people who have, and the world, like, the it's just a big sea underneath for some reason, and that's what the developers decided to do, and any time there's land masses, it just juts up. Can you swim it back up? Uh, no. So once you go down there, you just swim around until you run out of stamina. Reminds me of old uh, Minecraft. When you could break through this, uh, you still can do that. You yeah, can still you can still bust through the bedrock with creative mode. Yeah. Creative oh mode. yeah. There's in the also, creative mode, you can also just fly out into space and be all happy. Well, no, the, you can't go too too tall. In creative mode, you can't go up too far, but you can go down too far. You can go oh. down. You know, you can go up. Oh, I see. There's a there's a dying. there's a ceiling. It's really high. Yeah, but there's there's a definite ceiling. There it's, is. It's like above it's, the the build level. Uh, hmm. It's way above the build level, yeah. but yeah. I just know after like I think 400 blocks, it might be 500 because you have the elytra wings now. You can get that high. You start being like you become invisible. It doesn't. It just doesn't render you until you go back to below the limit. At least it did on older versions. What do you got there, Bill? I don't know what it was. Well, but I'm getting hungry, so I'm I think I'm going to wrap up the podcast. I'm curious already. Was there already. other stuff we had to talk about? Uh, nope. We could talk about the the, uh, nope. the Chromium browser from. Okay, fine. Yay. So continue. It's it's just a thing. <laughs> the new Edge browser is based off of Chromium. If, if didn't we already know that? Uh, well, yeah, it was but coming, but if there's a big if on this. What do you mean if? If you're in the beta. Oh, I thought it was already out. No, oh, if you're in the beta. Oh, okay. Well, totally me surprised. What color is that? Blue. Is it yellow? Oh, it's blue. Yeah. Aquamarine. It's the same as sad because scared is a type of sad. Mm, okay. Aquamarine. 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 That's the color. Sounds a good story. <laughs> the microphone matches your shirt, actually. My shirt has a picture of. It's a very like late 90s shirt. Maybe early 90s? I don't know. 90s. Middle 90s. Solid 90s. It's just... Late 80s. <laughs> it's uh, starting to get old, man. I've known you for so long that I, shirts that were new when we first met are now starting to... Like, the decal is starting to crack. Mm-hmm. I wear this shirt a lot, though. I like it. We've known each other for a while. At least two years. At I think I've had this for years. about yeah. a year and a half now, yeah. My other shirt had a... It was a a shirt for Void the Voyager spacecraft, mm-hmm. and it had like dates on the back of it, like as, as it was styled as if it like was a tour date. Tours. Yeah. yeah, and it just has all the dates that uh, it that has happened and will happen, and it's just it's just cool. I had to stop wearing it though because it's starting to get cracked and faded, and I I like to keep it. Oh, it's not pressed. I'm yeah. hungry too, Bill. Yes. So let's wrap things up. Famous last words. Go. Uh, Anna, go. My turn to go? Yeah, you're you're first. I imagine Ted wants to go last. Okay. I don't know what to say other than bye. Avengers Endgame is great. You should watch it if you uh, haven't yet and uh, enjoy it. Also, uh, if you like to bring water and stuff or drinks... Uh, probably to your sorry, like buy drinks. Probably don't for this one. It's a long movie. You don't want to miss any of it. Bill, why did Barty Crouch Jr. stop drinking? Because it was making him moody. <laughs>